our intro music? We don't have intro music. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear some intro music. <laughs> no intro music. Yeah. I'm trying to give it copyright free. I'm like, I'm, 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 I, you know, I'm, I, and I got strangle holes in my, my head. Body's dead. But, Send it to you, Patrick. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, welcome to Dio Kasplat. Uh, now that we're already off and running and talking, uh, welcome back. It's been a couple weeks. Woo. Glad you could join us again. We have so many fun things we could talk about. Anyone get any elixirs of lesser discovery yet? No, but I've got my share of Bigby's hands. <laughs> Got a couple of those. I actually pulled one, uh, believe it or not. Um, I mean, on the server I don't play on, but I pulled one. I'm sure they will completely break the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's going to be too big a deal. They're, they're only six hours, yeah, they're only one hour, too, so... If you start thinking about it, there's the, uh, you can only get, you're probably only going to get one, maybe two raids out of it generally anyway, so. Well, what's the rarity on it? Is it as rare as, uh, as, uh, uh what's the, what's the bug in the head called? The thinking cap? You know, I don't think so. I, how, how actually rare, rare is it? So. <clears throat> Um, I oh, think you have to get a level, 90, right? you probably have to get like a 91, 96 to get the upper one, maybe higher. Not exactly sure where it falls. The entrance to the manufactory is blockaded by Canna's soldiery. Grimly holding back any blade sworn attempting to retreat. Back also, into the house we also had the uh, NFL draft happen while we were gone. How do you feel like your team did? Uh, hey, it's, I don't know. Somebody's given the Packers a high score. I, I'm like, eh, we'll wait and see. Although the big news this week here is we signed. The Cleveland quarterback that went 0-16 last year for a <laughs> Oh, boy. Aren't you just so excited about that? You could, you, you, you could pretty much count on Aaron Rodgers getting, I don't know, a leg broken or something this time. This, this and by a great oh, boy. I don't know. You still have the guy from last year who... Uh, Why? Who'd you sign? Well, they traded for him. Uh, yeah. I can't even. I, can't, I don't even remember his name. <laughs> ah, okay. Kozer, um, something yeah, like that. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, something like that. But he went 0 16. He had eight red zone interceptions last year. And for some reason, we thought to pick this guy up was a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> Remind me of the Dolphins. Orders to Blade Sworn Glaive. Send word immediately should anyone try to I mean, that's the, the, the Dolphins. I didn't hear anything that they did in the draft. An intact creation and I actually watched themselves. the draft. <laughs> Do good work and help lay the path toward justice. You know, I used to watch the draft and I just got so incredibly bored. Oh, the, the, the best part of it this year was every time Roger Goodell went on stage, he just got the crap beat out of him. <laughs> I mean, I mean they, they let him have it every single time. Well, he was in Dallas, right? Up like handy. Yeah, yeah, but then they're, and then they're, everybody's doing their fancy thing, right? So, so I don't know what team it was, but they brought up some some poor young handicapped uh, 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 kid up there to to announce the um, announce the thing, and and so it's like, oh, what do you blew him now or? <laughs> or do you wait till Roger comes back? Uh, so you're in, Patrick? Yeah, we're, we're in the outside. we're in the Canis manufactory. Fenicus and I are. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going in. We're heading over to Power Play. Didn't realize you, it's been didn't no realize you guys were in already. The artifacts from the Stormreach ruins. First, we paid off that odious pirate lord Amanatsu. Then we chased oh, off. Oh, look at that! Got in, got in just in time to 
It's an acoustic. I disabled the constructs we found. I thought we could animate them to learn more about the purpose of the robots. Come in, Beavis. Uh, I'm buying <laughs> something right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Patrick, we were waiting for you. We didn't think you were, uh, we didn't know you were in here. We were just waiting outside. Yeah, we all these dead bodies. Yeah, I'm not, uh, overly uh, enthusiastic about the, the Seahawks draft. <laughs> I have no idea what they did. Drafted a running back in the first round. Okay. We traded back with uh, Green Bay. I remember that, yes. It was kind of an entertaining uh, kind of first round with all the people moving around in the first round all over the place. It's kind of crazy. Now that the war is finally over, I was thinking that perhaps House Tanif will finally be able to help the I look forward to discussing the matter with you as we bodies of Tanif soldiers litter the floor of the room ahead. So should we talk in non-spoilery terms of Infinity War? Uh, sure. <laughs> I like it. I wish no. I didn't have to wait a year for the rest of it, now, then. I mean, it's only been out for a week and a half. <laughs> yeah, and like everybody in the world. No, two it. weeks. Two and a half weeks. Yeah. Uh, no. All right. This is the second full weekend, so... Yeah, not even well, for a second week. <laughs> uh, so, we've got 20s, right? Yeah, but Beavis isn't here. Where are you? You're 20. And he's not even in the main. Oh, sure. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I'm an idiot. I should have done this before. <laughs> you have to buy it? Yeah, I'm out of Oh. Oh. No, I would say I really enjoyed Infinity Wars. If you haven't seen it, uh, I would highly recommend you go see it as soon as you can to avoid as many spoilers as you can. Right. Because there are many moments that were very entertaining but would have been less so if... They had been spoiled. But the other thing that they did, and there's actually a YouTube video out there of all the deceptive spoilers that they put out. <laughs> so, like, 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 everybody, the only, in all the trailers, you only see two stones in the Affinity Gauntlet. Whereas, trying not to be spoilery here, he has a lot more than that. In some of the scenes, they, they they just changed it. Um, they changed where the Hulk is in a couple of them, um, and a few other things. So, Marvel has definitely oh. been uh, clever about what they they put in their trailers and don't. Yep. Well, it's the whole it, it's the whole Thor has one eye deal, right? So you didn't know about that in Thor Ragnarok because you never saw it in any of the trailers but then then halfway through or not halfway but towards the end of the film he gets an eye taken out and then you go back spoilers. and watch the trailers and he has two eyes spoilers well it's not a spoiler anymore he's got a giant patch in most of the most of the movies true uh, well we lost Beavis we did is most unfortunate. No. Nope. There he is. And now he's back. <laughs> Did 
The one-liners were really good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like some of them. The, the, the Ben and Jerry's ice cream one was pretty good. But... A lot of the a lot of the interactions of characters meeting each other were were very entertaining. Mm-hmm. Did you did you get did you happen to see um what's the one late night host guy uh, Corden James Corden is that his name? Oh, it's one he, of them. He did the yeah he did a he had all the he had almost all the entire star cast and he took them around on a bus and drove them around Hollywood and they stopped in a comic book store. And freaked out a bunch of nerds that were just happened to be there that day. You know, it's, it's kind of entertaining. So good movie. I do, I am looking forward to Ant Man and the Wasp. So that one looks fun. Very. The for that looks pretty fun. It's something I noticed about. Uh, you go on the right way, Beavis. Uh, something I noticed about. Infinity War and the Wasps is that the action sequences seem to seem to be a lot more kinetic and wholesome as opposed to lots of cuts. Yeah, which was very enjoyable. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. I, and they said they purposely kept them out of Infinity War because they didn't want uh, um, they didn't want it to be so bleak. They wanted it to be a fun movie after. You know, let's just say that not everybody had a happy ending after the uh, after Infinity War. I knew they'd send someone. Right. She says with relief. All right, how do we play this game again? I forget. Find all the crystals, make them go spinny. <laughs> oh yeah. I think I've ever seen that lever before. That's kind of neat. It's kind of funny how they, uh, over the years, they, they haven't completely done away with escort quests, but they've definitely made them more bearable. Which quest? Escort. Escort, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You mean like the the early days of Coil are are long gone. Even caught in the web isn't too terrible. Let me check if there's a crystal right here because I feel like there is. Uh, no. Okay, other way. If you do not leave immediately, we will destroy you. You have been warned. I see the lava divers made it to two hundred. Congratulations. Yeah, we did. I need to we I need to <laughs> We're running a guild contest. Who won? The contest? I I don't know. I haven't <laughs> I haven't rolled it. It happened, well, it happened last week, I think, or like right before or during my crazy busy week, so I haven't really been on enough to even figure out who won. Although the, uh, the score goes something like 32 to 9 to 1 to 1, <laughs> so... Someone has a pretty clear shot of winning compared to everybody else. There we go. Well, that's incoming.
and had grand designs of trying to uh, get to level 20 before we came back, and that didn't even happen. I saw you guys on one Tuesday. Yeah, we did a little bit. We did, um... How do we do? We did Sane Asylum. And then we tried to do, uh, term, uh... One of the Deliriums. Acute Delirium, I think? Hang on, guys. We're splitting up. <clears throat> Which way are we going? Up. Up? Okay. Hello. Paladins keep saving against my stuns. That's no fun. I saw a post today from Cordovan about uh, melee and Reaper. You know, people are in forums are crying about how bad melee are melees are in Upper Reaper and. Uh, and and, and, it and it sounds like that the devs are actually going to try to address that. And 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 one one but somebody asked a really good, I thought a very very relevant question. Is that you know, and the, the, the gist of it was, is this now are we going to further marginalize uh, epic or rather elite difficulty? Oh, I think that ship has already sailed. I I've been saying that for. Well, he did say further marginalize, so. Oh, uh, further, sure. But it's, I, I mean, if you can do... I think improving melee... I think rather, sorry, I think rather than improving melee for Reaper, I think you should make it harder for ranged and, and spellcasters. Well, there's a couple things I'd say to that, but... Uh, to answer your question, the, the first thing you said is, I mean, Elite's already kind of marginalized in a lot of ways, just because if, you, if you're if you comfortable doing Reaper, it's, you're better off doing, or if you're better off doing R1 than Elite, because you probably have some Reaper action points, and, you know, if sure. you get some extra hit points and stuff like that, especially in lower levels, it's, I think it's even more, interestingly, it's more acute in lower levels, because the hit point boost you get at lower levels is, is a higher percentage of hit points, so. Sure. Um, as far as making it more difficult for range, I think you could do that, uh, but I think there's some fundamental things you need to really address when it comes to melees, uh, starting with every single Reaper, if it touches you, it doesn't even have to, like, quote, hit you, it just has to swipe at you. If they do that, then they slow down your attack speed, which gives a very inherent debuff to melees compared to everybody else. Mm -hmm. So what do you, would your suggestion be to just get away with that, the, that debuff? I think the the slow thing needs to... Uh, I'm fine with it affecting your speed because then it's something... Like a melee doesn't actually care about speed in the sense that they're going to be in melee and what a ranged person would. Uh, the traps boxes are farther in, in there. Uh, but the 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 debuff that slow thing hitting your um well that's weird. Did they take these traps out? No, it's just wrong highway for this. Uh, I don't think so. That's the right hallway. Or maybe it's the next hallway. Um <laughs> the but the the slow thing hitting your attack speed is just extraordinarily detrimental to to melee compared to range. I think that's the that's one of the biggest disparities there. I've talked about it on the show a few times. Yeah, it must be this hallway. Yeah. Yeah, I see. But I've I've pitched things like uh, one taking out that debuff because I think that's unnecessarily punitive to melees just in general. 
but I've also pitched like having more Reapers that uh, already. Jeez. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. That optional is more luck than anything else anyways. But I've pitched the idea of having more Reapers, um, one of which could have something along the lines of... Uh, you know the um, the Death Knight in Mark of Death that gives you the ranged and spellcasting debuff if you hit it with those things? Yep. A Reaper that has that guard on it would be... would kind of... Uh, give them something that they're not good against, right? Yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, I got him. But you know, ranged, ranged and melee balance is is really a tricky thing, especially in how fast this game moves. Right, like in pen and paper, it's not as pronounced because you, movement isn't as as much a part of pen and paper as it is in a a live action or real time scenario. But you always have to balance the idea with with ranged and casters that you know you. You don't get hit as much. You, you do your DPS without getting hit. I think in general, though, they just uh, the the low hanging fruit would be to give melees in general more more PRR than ranged. Of course there's a major problem with, with that too in that, you know, rangers are rangers melee or ranged. What kind of bonuses they get? It kinda gets a little confusing and chaotic. That's not fair. <laughs> Let the guy in the middle of. Yeah. Don't bother trying to break your way in, said Steelthorpe. Yeah. The entrances to my field headquarters are quite secure. Can I get there from here? You should worry less about you. Who are you trying to get to? And more about uh, me coming out. Eyeballs that are you. shooting at us or whatever. No, they're they're floating in midair. Cheaters. <laughs> So, so Technical13 in the chat is asking if, if I'm saying that uh, melee weapons when equipped sh should grant a PR bonus. No, that's not really what I'm saying. I'm just saying that there's an easy... It, the obvious place to try to balance some of the disparity between melee and ranged is in PRR. Cause it's, it's kind of, one of the most effective stat that would be the most pertinent stat uh, for a melee character. There's a remnant here. Because like increasing dodge or AC is problem. They're both problematic for a couple reasons. In that, you, if you don't have enough to, the numbers can easily be not meaningful. Either you don't have enough AC or you have too much dodge to be helpful. My experience playing a monk says that high dodge, uh, while helpful. Uh, is nothing compared to high PRR. I actually did a uh, math calculation of that too at one point. If 
basically took, uh, I think it was like 50% dodge, or a high amount of dodge and a high amount of PRR, and then made some assumption, like took a baseline of hit points and a baseline of, um, baseline hit points and baseline of how much damage monsters do. And basically what I came down to is uh, the PRR was better because you could get, you could survive um, like one more second without heals than you could with dodge. Something like that. It's a really poor <laughs> summary of that calculation. But What they could do is make the diminishing returns on PRR go away. That would help. Sure, but again, you're the the trick is if you just if you just say that across the board, right? Like there are range characters that have a, a pretty decent amount of PRR too. So it, it has to be a little bit more selective than just changing how PRR works. The, the idea, if you're going to use PRR to kind of help balance it, you kind of need to figure out how you can make uh give more prr to a wider variety of melee characters than you can uh range characters or do things in reaper that penalize you for being ranged which don't exist as opposed to things that just if you compare range and and melee in a vacuum going up by the way then you can make an argument that melee essentially get punished by being in melee because they're easier to hit. Which is not really too far off the mark. They theoretically have other things that help mitigate that, but it's debatable if that is successful or not. Well, honestly, it, the best thing that I think they can do, and and I and I and I've came to this conclusion after what happened to the the monk, the great monk nerfing of uh, <laughs> PRR, or rather, uh, uh, P, yeah, not PRR, but melee power. Um, you know, I I, I re, you know, even the old the old saying goes, the best defense is a good offense, and that mm -hmm. is that just that was really made clear to me after you know, after what happened um, with this uh, with update 38 I think there's Great a great month nerf yeah. of 2018 you can see the timeline of, on Arcot's wall that <laughs> of DDO <laughs> of DDO and <laughs> it's like a it's like a D D&D &D timeline right like the the great schism and the great monk nerf, the great warlock nerf, and <laughs> two, uh, the two hundred oh, yeah, fighting yeah. nerf, and <laughs> the arrival of monks. Let's put some positive things in there. I mean, it's a tricky thing to balance. And... A massive door bars the way to the west side of the power works. All right, now we gotta find the boss. Usually we want to go, want to go back north. Usually, but can find him to be kind of a pain to find in, in general. But yeah, the whole thing is kind of kind of complicated because they're very different play styles that. That's why I say like what suggests like having a reaper that specifically kind of quote penalizes or uh, counters ranged in spellcasting. There are so many different permutations of characters possible in DDO that it makes it hard to please everybody. Yeah. My men will deal with the crystals, boasts Steelthorn. Where are you at? I will deal with you. If you look at the the demographics of of popular builds and and powerful builds right now, there's uh, a lot of the more pow more.
powerful, popular ones are range splashes. I suppose you could do something like, as opposed to giving up a uh, bonus to PRR for having a melee weapon, you could do a penalty to, to PRR for wielding a range weapon. Which is sort of grounded in D and D rule sets in the sense that, uh, at least in like three five, which is what we're based off of, you know, there's you get attacks of opportunity if using ranged weapons in in melee. So we're kind of spread out here. I mean, it's kind of a hunt for the dude. I think we went the wrong direction. I don't know, like a great many things, I don't really have answers. I just have <laughs> I can see problems. The of Steelthorn echoes throughout the area. I have sent my men to destroy your precious crystals. If the Lord of Blades cannot have them, ah, you must Ah, he's close. But close to whom? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I'm just in the north room killing all the uh, the extra guys that. Uh, oh, steel from here. <laughs> yeah, he got me. Found him. Uh, I'm with Beavis and Fan. Oh no, there's okay. He's so on the ramp. He's heading to the. He's heading to the east. Uh, in the big room. He's over by the big crystal on the eastern side, rather than the western side of the room. Now the he's room. going down the western, he's over by the, uh, he hasn't actually gone down the hall yet, but he's beating up the shot cannon, on the, again, on the western side of the north room. Ow. <laughs> I'm just going to try to run there and see if I can grab him. Now that I've got a complete circle. Yeah. Ran right past him, because he didn't give him give us a message. Do -do. The power crystals has been destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still attacking the cannon. Well, hello. Found him. Who's a cheapy? Must be. It must be this way. has been destroyed. Uh oh. One of the power crystals has been destroyed. Ooh, remnants. Oh, there he is. Excellent. To the last. It's clear from the absolute devotion of your remnant at the bottom of the stage. It will be no easy task to remove the Lord of Blood. One of the power crystals has been destroyed. Should be just up here. Yeah, the big one's on the left side. And big it is. Holy macro. <laughs> Anybody want the uh, Mage Rider's Cloak? Got 
Oh, what's this? Ooh. I will. Nope, that one. No, I'll pass. I can give it to you. I'm, not, I'm just going to feed it to a sentient weapon, so. Oh, I'll take it then. Maybe I'll be a bard next life. That cloak has an age too bad. No, it's uh, pretty good. One of the power crystals has been destroyed. I'm sure they're one blown to bits. I don't know. You an explosive. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's just me you gotta worry about. Because flat ever. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I can. I don't think I can phrase it any better. I think us with explosives. Oops. Wrong guy. Oh, hello. In the gloom ahead stands a contingent of blade sworn, determined. Hey, some of us can't. I'm fast enough to run through everybody. <laughs> there are things to run. <laughs> I didn't see anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, you were running right by them and they're spawning. Uh oh. I mean, I don't know what the problem is there. Among the sounds of turning gears and venting gases comes the rhythmic metal clanking of footsteps. No, a scroll in here. I think there should be a scroll in here. Yeah, there's actually there should there should be in this door right here. Oh, look at all the iron guns cut up there. No, oh, that's not working. Yeah, stupid grease. Hello. Made a guy dance, and I'm not even sure how. Must have been a color's effect. An age of wonder awaits us, and the key to unleashing it was buried under our noses. I've labored for weeks now to reveal the secrets of this confounded thing, this forge. The answer finally came. The scroll over here in the corner. Wait a minute, we're not doing on a Reaper? Along the hall, uh, we, there's level 20s. Can't. Well, I guess we could, but there, you wouldn't get anything for it. Oh. Because it's a heroic level quest? Shows you how much you run Reaper. 
if you run a quest that's heroic with a level 20 or more, then uh, it, you don't get any reaper bonus for it. Yeah, see, I never would have known that. Fire in the hole. I'm just going to wait here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I said fire in the hole. Nice. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I got everybody else. I barely caught that. <laughs> yeah, I was busy still buffing everybody. <clears throat> Wait a minute, I'm gonna get my charger. Hold on. There we go. The blade sworn artificers have repurposed House Cannon's uh, mage fire. Right? They do appear on your map, by the way, the mines. Ow, behind us. Ooh, big behind us. Yeah. Let me show him what a real paladin is. <laughs> there you go. So back when this came out, this is before Swashbuckler in my defense, uh, my bard couldn't kill the paladins fast enough. They would, like, heal themselves. So I had to uh, dance them, lay a mine at their feet, Dance them again and then run away. <laughs> All right, pick a path. Oops. So it begins. I guess I started it though. You just kind of go back and forth a little bit, so I don't have to wait for the charges as much. Oh look, a red shrine. There's a lot of those in here. <laughs> they make some assumptions that you're going to uh, blow yourself up. Yeah, D and D gamers with uh, explosives. Yeah, there you go. How about we just aggro stuff the old fashioned way for once? Oh. Where are you, Pat? Oh, I'm around. You know, we're not we're not even five feet from the front door yet. <laughs> Ow. Uh oh. Well, good thing there's a shrine right here. I just got uh, comet balls. Yeah, that happens. Don't have enough key. All right then. Ben. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? That last explosion knocked some of the storage facilities mechanism. Now it gets really fun. The large containment gates appear to be malfunctioning. Now why is that? Containment gates. Yeah, you just blocked this off from the rest. Of the I didn't do anything. <laughs> They're automatic. Oh, uh, there's one. Yeah. 
They kind of go on their own. There you go. Hey, guys. It's really demoralizing one of the gates closes right behind you when you plant a mine. Oh, Artie's behind us. Yeah, I'm fine. So we're not getting any headway here. Here we are. We only got four more paladins to kill. The stupid gates, the stupid gates just keep opening and closing. Yeah, they do that. I've had enough. I'm starting to cut things up now. <laughs> you can blow stuff up. It's fun. Hey. Oh, there he is. Suddenly, my stunning is meager. Freaking constructs. Yeah. They don't like getting stunned, that's for sure. Whoa. Hmm, I think we got all the pilots on the side. Ooh. Remnants over here. Whoa. Come back to that Ow. one. <laughs> you got trapped behind the door, didn't you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I've had that happen a few times. <laughs> There's a red shrine right around the corner from him. where we are. Ooh. So what thing we didn't talk about was your uh your pen and paper thing. Yeah, that was a blast. Uh, hopefully we're we'll doing really well.
Jerry gave a big thanks to everybody on the show. Uh, on the show uh, Sunday. So. Is it bad that it's Tuesday and I haven't listened to my own show yet? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's not published yet. I haven't had a chance to listen to it. Ah. Uh, You've blown most of the corrupted armament crates to Little Bell was wacky. She always is. Uh oh. <laughs> Where the heck are you guys? Oh. Uh, between two mines. <laughs> Oops. Cut out just in time. Jerry talked about the loot table a little bit. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's not good. That's a bad time to get knocked down. Since we, uh, since ah, we changed, dang it. Since so they changed the, uh, the rolls. The heck was hitting me so hard. Why don't you just hate it when you blow yourself up? I didn't blow myself up. <laughs> I got knocked down and then got pummeled. Uh. Where are you? Wrong way here. Uh, there's a red name dude oh. over there, so that's probably what killed you. Probably. There's some remnants. Four lock down. Well, we're doing a uh -oh. great job of staying together in this quest. <laughs> uh oh. Run, rabbit. Oh, did I not? I must have interrupted it. I'm, I'm having a hard time fighting you guys. I got separated by the stupid gate. Oh, there's the red name. Oh! There we go. Get inside the border here. It's iconic blasting a lot, that's the problem. Ah, dancing! Alright, Mr. Gatherer, you and me are gonna have some words here. Yuck! This Gatherer guy is kinda kicking my butt. Found me. Dang it. Nah, I just got stunned. Yeah, right. cleric's dead. Hey, look, the warlock. I just decided to find a red shrine. Thought I might get lucky. There's Mr. Beavis. Yeah, I was fighting Hunter by myself. You destroyed Hunter and Yowchi. Gatherer. If it makes you well, feel any better, I was fighting Gatherer lines. and, like, everybody else. <laughs> There are a fair number of guys there. The thing that was hitting me hard was the psychotic blast. Which Archon and I know from ignoring MRR. Oh, nice. much. Oh, whoops, I just set one there. <laughs> That's not going to go well. Dang it. The last blade sworn paladin falls. Striking a huge blow to the Lord uh, of Blades operation. 
Yeah, this crutch is turning out to be a little chaos. And <laughs> well, we didn't exactly stay together very well. Yeah, better run, Sam. All right. We head, do the optionals? Yeah, head back to the start. We'll get our chest, then we'll go do something stupid. <laughs> How the hell are you? Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to shrine here. Probably a good idea. What's this one do? Blades artificers must have figured out how to alter the orders for this house Kenneth Warforge Titan. It should be destroyed before it causes too much havoc. All right, we'll go to Fenicus then, since he uh, started that one. <laughs> Oops. No, no, don't run away from it. Get back there and fight it. Yeah, none of this running away thing. Hey, missed one. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh yeah, he's a big one. Go, go, gadget tank. On their night shield. I don't think it helps. It doesn't really? help. It's not yeah, magic missile. Just little piddly magic missile. Ah, okay, gotcha. Ah, the easy one's done. Ooh, Warforged Titan Hunter. All that easy. So looking forward, who's looking forward to Deadpool and or Solo? What do you think? Uh, like pretty excellent. I'm concerned about I'm Solo. Then. You. What happened to you? Somebody left a bomb for me. <laughs> I see what he told me too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm gonna try before we do the bomber. I am out of action boost. Yeah, I don't. Deadpool was. Deadpool's kind of. I mean, anticipate a little bit. I mean, not as much as Infinity War. But uh, I don't know about Solo. Yeah, I'm not going to go see Solo in a the theater. I'm just going to wait till it comes out on, on video. I'll go see it, but. All right, who wants to read the warning apparition? <laughs> Be, be my guest. Isn't that, isn't that exciting there? <laughs> a magical apparition appears to offer a warning to those who approach this, this encounter is considered an extreme reason. challenge. Uh, let's see. It it wants a skill check. <laughs> That's well, different. What? I've got bluff, and I've got diplomacy. I don't know. Have at it. I don't think I have. No, not good enough. Uh. Wah! Ooh. Hey, I was outside. <laughs> I was outside of that. That was a, uh, <laughs> a failed UMD check. Oh. I succeeded. 
Right on. Uh, there might be. I think there's a gate, and I don't know if you can come through it afterwards. So you might want to get in the room, or not, depending on how you feel about it. <laughs> uh, how come I can't open the box? Don't you have to? Don't you have to? Oh, I thought you had to lift that guy off. Did not. Or try the chest? No. Did you, yeah, break? you have to do the right thing with the the guy here. You, I don't think you can diploma it. You basically, oh, can you? Do you have to blow it up? Do you have to lay up mine? Uh, I bet you that's it. All right. It sounds about right. Hello. There we go. And there goes Beavis. <laughs> Great. Bomb. Another bomb. Oh, I wish I had all that, uh, ooh, ow. Missed that bomb. Oh boy, here he comes. Yeah. It's kind of funny that they leave the restaurant here. Um. How far did I have to get away from that thing? Jeez. Bob. You must be hiding around the corner, Sam. Bomb. Bomb. You just tell me when you want me to leave you dead, Beaver, okay? <laughs> that is not the Kasplat way. <laughs> <laughs> Get him up so he can die again. <laughs> Bomb. Just trying right there. It's no big deal. I know, but I can get you up at full at full point. I'm getting called meat bags. Bomb. Music's kind of fun. Yeah, it's not too bad. Bomb. Oh, I have it turned off. It's different. I don't recognize it from anywhere else. All right, I'm laying a bomb. You're bomb. doing what now? <laughs> he did too. Hey, I gotta have yeah, the bomb. I gotta have it. Oh, that was terrible timing for you to do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was I doing know. something that had a cooldown timer. I don't, he's immune to bombs uh, anyways, I think. He is. Bomb. 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 Hey, look at that. He didn't die. Twice in a row. <laughs> Bomb. Bomb. Uh oh. Bomb. Bomb. He's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Did you survive that one? <laughs> Bomb. Yeah, oh, he's running away from me now. See, you range guys have it easy. You don't have to get in close to where the bombs start. You don't have to run as far. Well, that's a good idea. Time to pull up the dart. <laughs> Bomb. Yeah, I've got a throwing dagger. Oh, the dart heals him. I can't do that. Sting like, move like butterfly, sting like bee. Speaking of which, has Bomb. anybody Bomb. watched the Co Cobra Kai Karate Kid remake no, thing I on No, I watched Red? the trailer. Oh my god, is it so good. Really? I, I, is it? I cannot, yes, it is very, very good. Um, cause you, you find yourself rooting for Johnny over Daniel. Like, and it kind of flips back and Bomb. forth throughout the whole show. It's actually, I enjoyed it quite a bit, being a fan of the old show. Old movies. Bomb. Bomb. Oh, this guy's got a lot of hit points. No bomb. Um. Bomb. Um. Are you the only one that's really doing any damage to it, Arcot? Probably. He's getting some damage to him. He's following you the most. He hasn't died. <laughs> I've been trying to keep him healed. I hate to see somebody's repair bill after this is all done. I'm surprised my... Oh, that's not a good idea. Bomb. Bomb. About it. Sweet Jesus. At least you're not a fire guy. I assume acid is doing um, some damage. Yeah, it's doing some damage. There we go, now we're getting them pretty good. Bomb. I always go the opposite direction I do after work all the way across the room. 
Bomb. Bomb. Kind of funny how piddly he hits other than the <laughs> the bombs. <laughs> Bomb. Bomb. There's a shrine there too if you need to take a shrine. Bomb. <laughs> Every time the screen flashes he lays one, so. It flashes, yeah. Yeah. There it is. Bomb. Uh oh, it looks like Beavis here is using a uh, backup weapon. Had an anti maze, yeah. Looks like that's gonna break soon, too. Bob? Taking, he takes damage from electrical, right? Marginal. <laughs> I mean, he resists it, but... Yes, he takes damage. Ha-ha! The whopping 2,000 wow, experience. Wow, hip experience for that. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. There better be portable holes in these chests, that's all I gotta say. B9, good card five. Fabricators bracers. Oh, they're very good. You don't want these fabricator bracers, uh, Davis? I don't know what the hell we're doing here. I pulled a strength item. Uh, balance and insight. Well, hey, thanks for watching Dito Kasplat. Uh, we'll be back next Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, hope you enjoy the show. Don't forget to check out our weekly discussion podcast, uh, DitoCast at DitoCast.com or on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash DitoCast. Thanks for watching.